Did you know that the Guinness Book of World Records is a record holder itself? This fascinating collection is filled with astounding achievements and intriguing facts. The Guinness Book of World Records is more than just a book. It's a testament to human perseverance and ambition. It captures the dreams of those who dare to achieve the impossible and the determination of those who turn these dreams into reality. Every record within its pages pushes the limits of what we perceive to be possible illustrating the incredible potential of humanity. But the book itself holds a record, a testament to its popularity, that is as surprising as it is humorous. This record is not about who can eat the most hot dogs in a minute or who can balance the most spoons on their face. Nor is it about the tallest man, the shortest woman, or the individual who can hold their breath the longest underwater. In a surprising turn of events, the Guinness Book of World Records is not just a recorder of records, but a record holder as well. And this record is quite different. This record is unique to the book itself. It is a record that may raise eyebrows and spark conversations. What is the record in question? The Guinness Book of World Records holds the title for being the most frequently stolen bestseller in history. It appears that the book's allure is so irresistible that it can't keep itself safe from those who covet it, but aren't able to afford it. Talk about a book that can't even keep itself safe. Now, imagine being able to store 600 worms in your cheeks. Fascinating, right? Absurd as it might seem to us. For one creature, it's reality. Let's delve into the wildlife, wonder-filled universe. We're discussing platypus here, an extraordinary animal defying norms of our understanding. This peculiar creature with a duck's bill, beaver's tail, and otter-like body has a unique trait. The platypus can hold a substantial quantity in cheek pouches unlike humans. These cheek pouches are nature's marvels. The platypus, in its aquatic home, can dive to gather food. It spots worms and starts storing them in its pouches. These are not your average cheeks, but vast storage areas that can hold numerous worms. How many, you ask? Believe it if told 600. Yes, 600 worms. This is a verified platypus fact. You might visualize the platypus swimming joyfully with cheeks full of worms ready for a meal. This provides a survival edge. It can gather large food quantities, retreat to its burrow and eat peacefully. Efficient and effective. Visualize having the ability to go grocery shopping and store all your purchases in your cheeks. That's the level of primitive convenience and efficiency we're referring to. So there you have it. A journey into the enthralling world, the platypus and its worm storing ability. It's a reminder that nature never ceases to amaze with its diversity and ingenuity. That's a lot of snacks. Speaking of odd, let's talk borders, those thin lines on a map that define a country's edges. Sometimes they're a cause for conflict, other times just a footnote in history. But did you know that some borders are so short they can be crossed in a blink? It's true. In our vast world with diverse territories, there's one such border, a tiny one that makes you question its very existence. It's a border with a length of just 1.2 kilometers. That's right, not even a mile. This minuscule border lies between two historical nations, Great Britain and Spain. It's nestled in Gibraltar, a British enclave in Spain, which is as British as it gets, but is bathed in Spanish sun. This border between these two countries has been at the heart of many political discussions. It's not a border, but a symbol of the intricate relationship between these European nations. However, if you ignore the politics, it's so small, you could walk across it in less time than a coffee break. Crossing this border, you sense the blend of cultures. On one side, the unmistakable British vibe with its red telephone booths and English accents. On the other, the sunny Spanish atmosphere resonating with flamenco rhythms. It's a border where breakfast can be English and lunch Spanish. What makes this border unique isn't just its size, but also its setting. At the base of Gibraltar Rock and surrounded by the Mediterranean's blue waters, it's one of the world's most picturesque borders. Its short length only adds to its charm. Imagine how short this border is. It's so short that you could practically hop, skip, and jump across it. Yes, just like that. You could leap from one country to another, crossing international borders like they were just another line in the sand. Isn't that just fascinating? Moving on to music, Eminem's Rap God is a lyrical marathon, consisting of 1560 words. Eminem, born Marshall Bruce Mathers III, is a revered figure in hip-hop. This song, released in 2013, stands out due to its high lyrical density and is a testament to Eminem's skill as a lyricist. 
Rap God showcases Eminem's ability to weave intricate rhymes and narratives, delivering a fast-paced, word-heavy track that leaves listeners in awe of his command of the English language. It's not only the word count that stuns, but also the challenging speed and rhythm. During the fastest part of the song, Eminem reaches an astounding 6.5 words per second, drawing admiration and critique alike. In this track, Eminem explores various themes, seamlessly maintaining a coherent narrative despite the high word count. His prowess as a storyteller is evident as he skillfully utilizes literary devices to create a complex narrative. The lyrics reference other rappers, songs, and cultural events, making Rap God a veritable history of hip-hop culture. The song's success is undeniable, winning the MTV Video Music Award for Best Editing in 2014 and holding a Guinness World Record for most words in a hit single. This further cements Eminem's reputation as a highly skilled and influential rap artist of his generation. Rap God is more than a song, it's a testament to Eminem's ability to manipulate language into a compelling narrative. It's his claim to the title of the most verbose rapper, a title he justly deserves. That's more words than most of us say in a day, and he does it all in one song. And did you know that the word okay originated from a joke? Yes, this term we use so casually actually stems from a playful linguistic trend from the past. During the 19th century, Bostonians found wit in abbreviating phrases to their initials. In this lively era, language evolved as people sought unique ways to communicate. They started using abbreviations and initials in their daily interactions, reflecting the inventive spirit of the time. Okay, the term we're discussing today comes from all correct, a phrase signifying jest and camaraderie, a symbol of being in the know. Newspapers and publications adopted this trend, gradually making okay a part of everyday conversation. The term made its way into the American language lexicon, starting its global journey. It crossed borders, seeping into different cultures and societies. Its simplicity made it easy to adopt, its versatility made it applicable in diverse situations. It became a symbol of agreement, affirmation, and understanding. So next time you say or write OK, remember its origins. Remember how it began as a jest in 19th century Boston and evolved into a universally recognized term. Remember how it transitioned from being a local phrase to a global symbol. It precisely illustrates the power of language and communication, showing us how an abbreviation can affect our lives in unexpected ways. Talk about a long-running joke. Now, let's talk about our feline friends. Cats, these agile beings, are a sight to behold. Their sleek frames exemplify sophistication. Amidst their intriguing traits, their sleep patterns stand out. Cats can sleep for an astounding 16 hours a day, a luxury we humans can only dream of. This extensive sleep is tied to their predatory instincts. Wild cats conserve energy for hunting through sleep. Domestic cats, relieved from hunting, sleep even more. Their sleep, however, is unique, light and fleeting. They're constantly alert, even during rest, to shield themselves from potential threats. Cats have an intriguing knack to fall asleep instantly, a subject of much scientific curiosity. They can shift from alertness to sleep within seconds, resting their bodies while their minds stay vigilant. They aren't entirely ignorant of their surroundings during sleep. They often wake up, assessing their surroundings with an inherent alertness. This isn't a deep sleep, but a light one. They're ready to pounce or flee at any given moment. Their sleep pattern is like a built-in security system, waking up at the slightest sign of trouble. Cats make exceptional pets. Their half-closed eyes forever scanning, they ensure not just their safety but sometimes ours too. Our understanding of cat sleep habits enhances our respect for them. They are not just adorable pets but vigilant guardians. Cats sleep for up to 16 hours a day but never as deeply as we do. They quickly fall asleep and sporadically wake up to check if their environment is still safe. It's like having a full-time security guard who sleeps on the job. Did you know bees can sting other bees? This captivating fact is part of an astonishing world teeming with incredible phenomena right under our noses. Let's explore this world for a clearer understanding of bee behavior. Bees, the miniature pillars of our ecosystem, are known for their essential role in pollination. However, their social dynamics might not be as well known. Just like humans, bees also have internal conflicts, particularly when feeling threatened or defending their territory. This behavior mirrors that seen in numerous other species. The seemingly tranquil hive hums with complex social hierarchies and power dynamics. Each bee has its role, yet some non-conforming bees dare to challenge the status quo. When a bee disobeys hive rules or an outsider encroaches the colony's territory, the defiant bee is stung. 
This B on B justice system manifests the complex and occasionally brutal world within a hive. However, this B on B crime is more than a display of strength or territoriality. It underscores the intricate social structure within a hive, exemplifying bees' capacity to enforce order, communicate, and safeguard their community. Exploring this behavior reveals the complexity and marvel of the bee world, emphasizing their crucial role in our ecosystems. It spotlights the delicate balance of nature, the harmony and discord that simultaneously exist within it. The tenacity, robustness, and complexity of bee societies are truly extraordinary, echoing the power of unity and order. These small creatures, often feared for their stings, are not only insects, but vital contributors to our ecosystem, possessing an astounding level of intelligence and social organization. That's some serious B on B crime right there. There are over 50 different species of kangaroos, a fact that is as spellbinding as it is enlightening. Kangaroos aren't just mere occupants of Australia, but vital parts of the ecosystem. They contribute significantly to ecological balance and community dynamics. The term kangaroo groups diverse marsupials into 50 species, each with distinct features, specially evolved to their habitats. Among them, the red kangaroo is most recognized, known for its red coat and being the largest marsupial globally. Also, eastern and western gray kangaroos are known for their gray fur and wide distribution. Some kangaroos, like the tree kangaroos, have adapted to life in trees with strong forelimbs and a long tail for balance. Small species like the musky rat kangaroo are more rodent-like in appearance and behavior. Despite differences, all species hop. It's their mode of locomotion, a form of movement and communication. Even baby kangaroos, joeys, practice hopping early on, usually within their mother's pouch. The story of kangaroos is also one of survival, adaptation, and evolution. They're an essential part of Australia's identity and a major attraction for tourists. They also play significant roles in indigenous Australian mythology and art, but they face challenges such as habitat loss, climate change, and human-animal conflict. Remember, kangaroo's story is about more than numbers. It's about diversity, adaptation, challenges, and their essential roles in our world. That's a lot of hopping happening down under. Did you know that a female lion performs 90% of the hunting? In the expansive African savanna, the lioness is a symbol of strength and beauty, often overshadowed by the regal male lions. However, the lionesses are the primary providers, the seasoned hunters bringing home most of the meals. Agile and muscular, a lioness can run up to 50 miles per hour. She can leap up to 36 feet, built to outmaneuver and outrun the dangers of the wild. These lionesses display an incredible level of cooperation and strategic planning. Their hunting strategies show military precision. The lionesses form a semicircle, directing the prey towards the center where another group waits to finish the job. It's cunning and a testament to their intelligence. Their roles aren't random. The males, with their hefty manes, are built for power and intimidation. They protect the pride, but it's the lionesses who sustain the pride's survival with their hunting prowess. These lionesses also bear a substantial burden. They rear the cubs and feed the pride, showcasing their strength, fearlessness, and dedication. The life of a lioness is tough, embodying resilience and bravery. Every hunt is a life-threatening endeavor, a dance between life and death, yet they courageously rise to the challenge, unwavering in spirit. So the next time you find yourself marveling at the majestic roar of the male lion, remember the lioness, remember her strength, her skill, her sacrifice, she plays a crucial role in the survival and thriving of the pride, talk about girl power. In Switzerland, owning only one guinea pig is illegal. This isn't just an eccentric law, it's a meaningful understanding of guinea pig's social nature. Guinea pigs aren't mere pets. They're sentient beings with their own emotions and social needs. They thrive on interaction, they need to connect with their own kind. The law in Switzerland is more than a rule, it's a declaration. It acknowledges that animals have needs beyond food and shelter. They need companionship, connection, and social interaction. This law ensures these small creatures are not subjected to isolation, emphasizing their rights. This isn't solely about guinea pigs in Switzerland, it's about all animals. It's understanding that animals are more than they are beings with emotions and needs. It's about recognizing the social needs of animals, ensuring that they are met. If you're considering getting a guinea pig, think about its implications. It means committing to provide for its needs and give it the companionship it craves.
And if you're getting a guinea pig, you should be prepared to get two reflecting their social needs. You may think, but I can interact with my guinea pig. While beneficial, it's not the same. Guinea pigs need to communicate in their own language, socialize in their unique way, which can only be fully achieved with another guinea pig. So, if you're planning on getting a guinea pig, you might as well get two and avoid a run-in with the Swiss authorities. Transitioning now to the world of finance, particularly focusing on the United States currency, we delve into the method of verifying a dollar bill's authenticity. This technique is surprisingly effective yet straightforward, involving nothing more than rubbing it on paper. A seemingly mundane process it is, however, a key way to detect counterfeit money. Its simplicity holds great significance, making it a traditional and time-tested method used widely over the years. The process is simple but intricate. It involves taking a piece of paper and rubbing the supposed US dollar bill against it. The friction creates a mark on the paper. This mark is your telltale sign if the bill is genuine or counterfeit. The color of the mark determines the bill's authenticity. If it's black, the bill is genuine. The black mark is consistent with the ink used by the United States Bureau of Engraving and Printing, the only producer of U.S. currency. If the mark is green, green, the bill is counterfeit. These colors are inconsistent with the ink used by the Bureau. Counterfeit bills usually printed with substandard ink produce these colors when rubbed against paper. This technique thrives in our technology-driven world due to its effectiveness. All you need is a dollar bill, a piece of paper, and an eye for color. Money, especially U.S. dollars, is more than paper. It's a symbol of economic power, a testament to the U.S. economy's strength and a counterfeiter's target. Techniques like these make distinguishing genuine bills from fake ones easier, highlighting the importance of vigilance when handling money. Who knew money laundering could be so easy? With just a piece of paper and a U.S. dollar bill, you can determine the authenticity of the bill and potentially prevent yourself from becoming a victim of counterfeit money. This simple method is a testament to the importance of traditional methods in a world dominated by technology. And did you know that your stomach produces a new layer of mucus every two weeks? This fact is quite remarkable, isn't it? The human body is indeed a marvel, a miraculous piece of engineering, and your stomach is a key component. The stomach is more than just a food storage organ. It's an intricate organ with multiple functions. It's crucial for our daily lives, yet we seldom give it a moment's thought. Imagine life without digestion? It's unimaginable, isn't it? That's the significance of your stomach. Now let's delve into the particulars. The stomach is fascinating, but it's the mucus lining it that plays a major role in digestive health. This mucus isn't just a slimy substance. It's a protective shield safeguarding the stomach from its own destructive juices. Your stomach secretes a potent acid called gastric acid to decompose food. This acid is so strong it can digest tough content like steak. But why doesn't it digest the stomach itself? That's where mucus comes into play. The stomach generates a fresh mucus layer fortnightly, replacing the old worn out layer. This ongoing renewal shields the stomach lining from the acid, preventing damage or digestion. This mucus production exhibits our body's self-protective mechanisms. It's remarkable how the body safeguards itself from internal threats. It's a fascinating showcase of nature's intricate survival systems. The mucus layer is an unsung hero, protecting your stomach from self-destruction caused by the acid it produces for digestion. It's almost poetic how one body part protects another. So when you dine, remember the incredible work your stomach is doing. From your first bite, your stomach and its protective mucus layer get to work. It won't stop until digestion is complete, ensuring nutrient absorption for your health and energy. Our bodies reflect nature's genius. Every part, cell, and organ contributes to the complex symphony of life. And amid this symphony, your stomach goes on, producing a new layer of mucus every two weeks. Otherwise, it would digest itself. Talk about self-preservation. Lastly, did you know that there are no clocks and windows in Las Vegas casinos? This is due to a strategic move casinos employ to keep patrons immersed and spending. In the city of entertainment, casinos use various tactics, one being the absence of clocks and windows. When entering these glamorous venues, your senses are captivated by the alluring atmosphere. The bright artificial lights create a feeling of an eternal night filled with exhilarating possibilities. Now, why no clocks? Because in a casino, every minute translates into a win or a loss. A constant reminder of passing time can deter customers. Without clocks, casinos present an environment where time is irrelevant. This setting enables customers to fully engage in the gaming experience without being conscious of time. The constant supply of drinks 
the ringing of slot machines and the overall buzz create an environment that encourages continuous play. The lack of windows works similarly. They usually remind of the passage of time, signaling day turning into night. By eliminating this, casinos aim to induce a sense of timelessness, causing gamblers to lose track of time. This can lead gamblers to spend more time and money than planned. It's where time loses meaning and the thrill of potential victory can make customers overspend. But remember, while the casinos do this to boost income as a patron, it's your duty to stay conscious and in control. This is not just about your money, but also your invaluable time. So if you're planning a trip to Vegas, don't forget to bring your own clock. That's all for today, folks. We've explored a lot today, haven't we? From marine life intricacies to cosmic mysteries and from the wonders of nature to human achievements. We hope you enjoyed this discovery journey. Our videos are not just for watching, but for embarking on a journey. A journey that inspires curiosity, provokes thought, and ignites a thirst for knowledge. In this video, we aim to pique your interest, spark your curiosity, and encourage you to learn more. We believe in the power of knowledge, the joy of learning, and the thrill of discovery. We're dedicated to providing the best content that educates, entertains, and enlightens. Were you amazed by any fact today? Maybe it was about the species in the Amazon, the beauty of the Northern Lights, or the history of Egyptian pyramids. Maybe it was how we explained complex physics with humor or unraveled universe mysteries. We're curious about your favorite fact. Which one made you say, wow, I didn't know that? Which one made you want to share this video? Share with us in the comments section. Your interaction enriches our community and inspires us. Learning joy lies in not only acquiring, but also sharing knowledge. So share your favorite fact from this video. Let's get the conversation going. Let's engage in a lively exchange of ideas. Let's inspire each other. Every fact you learn is a spark, a spark that can ignite curiosity, fuel the passion for learning and illuminate the path to discovery. So keep this spark alive, keep exploring, keep discovering, and most importantly, keep learning and laughing. Until next time, keep learning and keep laughing.